Wineries across Tasmania are beginning to see the fruits of their labour, harvesting and making sparkling wines, kicking off a busy month ahead. Now we start picking all the table wines, so this week we'll start seeing Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Noir for still wines arrive. So it's going to be almost 24 hours a day for the next three or four weeks for us. Wine Tasmania say wineries across the state produced about 30% less grapes than last year's 11,000 tonne harvest. Chief winemaker at Joseph Cromie says they have 40 to 50% less grapes after a difficult summer. Because of the uh, essentially the cold, wet, windy, uh, overcast conditions in December, which disrupted the flowering. So instead of having um, bunches that might be say 150 grams per per bunch, the weight's only about 75 or 80 grams. But Jeremy Deneen says the small quantity of grapes means better quality. Particularly with the red wines, the the smaller berries give us more colour more tannin and hence a bit more flavour so we're looking for a good quality harvest uh, but just not enough of it unfortunately. After the grapes are picked and pressed they're tanked here for one to two days. The clear juice is then extracted and put into another tank where the yeast is added. But this wine won't hit the shelves for another three months to five years. The chief winemaker says sparkling wines will be a hit. I mean the juices look beautiful, pristine, um, yeah, very fine, delicate juices. He says Pinot Noir will also have a stellar year. We're seeing really bright acidity in the fruit, uh, really good fruit flavours. And wine Tasmania say because the state has a smaller amount of wine from this year's harvest and demand already outweighs supply, wine lovers should get in quick for this year's vintage. Jessica Amir, Win News.